Welcome to the ACMG Knowledge Nugget on newborn screening for classic galactosemia. This activity is intended for educational purposes only. Neither I nor the planning committee have any disclosures. This session is approved for 0.25 CME. To obtain CMEs for this activity, you will need to pass the quiz with a score of at least 80% and complete the evaluation. This session is a companion to the Classic Galactosemia Act Sheet, which is freely available at www.acmg.net backslash ACT. App sheets are intended to be immediate resources for providers who encounter positive newborn screening results. Please keep in mind that a newborn screening result is just the first step in the diagnostic process. Further testing and evaluations are needed to determine if the newborn has the disease, a true positive result, or is unaffected a false positive result. The act sheets are intended to provide an overview of the diseases identified by newborn screening and clear next steps for the management of a positive newborn screening result. This session will cover background information on classic galactosemia, including clinical features and the underlying genetic cause, actions a primary care provider needs to take upon receiving a screen positive test result for classic galactosemia, clinical considerations, and supplemental resources. Classic galactosemia is a genetic disorder caused by pathogenic variants found in the GALT gene, which leads to decreased galactose 1-phosphate uretal transferase enzyme activity and the inability to metabolize galactose, a sugar found in lactose. This results in characteristic elevations of galactose and galactose 1-phosphate. Classic galactosemia can present as a clinical emergency in the first few days of life and may be fatal without treatment. Early signs of galactosemia include poor feeding, lethargy, failure to thrive, and jaundice. Neonatal E. coli sepsis can also occur and be life-threatening. Classic galactosemia is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, meaning that only infants with a pathogenic variant in both of their GALT genes will be affected. Parents with a child with classic galactosemia are carriers and are unaffected, but have a 25% recurrence risk with any future children they have together. All states in the United States provide newborn screening for classic galactosemia. A good resource for checking a state's newborn screening panel is the newbornscreening.hrsa.gov website. Screening for classic galactosemia is performed by examining levels of the galactose 1-phosphate uretal transferase or GALT enzyme, which is decreased in individuals with classic galactosemia. Screening may also detect individuals with a benign variant of classic galactosemia known as the Duarte variant. Now that you have an understanding of what classic galactosemia is, let's talk about what to do if you have a patient screen positive for classic galactosemia during newborn screening. You will need to take the following actions. First, contact the family and do the following. Inform them of the newborn screening result and that more testing is needed to determine if their child does or does not have the disease. Ascertain clinical status, paying close attention to signs like poor feeding, lethargy, and jaundice. Ask the family to discontinue breastfeeding and or cow's milk formulas and initiate non-lactose-based feedings with a soy formula. Provide the family with basic information about classic galactosemia. Second, take a family history. 
Because classic galactosemia is inherited in an autosomal recessive manner, it is common for there to be no known family history of classic galactosemia. Third, arrange an immediate referral to a classic galactosemia specialist for genetic counseling, a comprehensive clinical evaluation, and discussion of the treatment plan. The specialist is typically a pediatric geneticist. The clinical evaluations should include a comprehensive physical assessment by an experienced galactosemia specialist. Fourth, working with the appropriate specialist takes steps to ensure biochemical and or molecular confirmation of the newborn screening result. Confirmatory testing includes GALT enzyme analysis, assessment of galactose-1 phosphate levels, and GALT gene sequencing. Fifth, report the final diagnostic outcome back to your state newborn screening program. Classic galactosemia is primarily treated through the avoidance of dairy products and foods containing galactose, as well as the administration of soy-based formulas. There is no standard accepted management for children with the Duarte variant, as it is usually considered a benign condition. As you continue to care for your patient with classic galactosemia, it is likely additional questions and concerns will come up. Here are some resources where you can obtain information on classic galactosemia, appropriate laboratories and tests, and genetic specialists. Before we end today's session, let's have a quick review. First, classic galactosemia is a serious condition and identification of affected individuals is essential for administration of life-saving early treatment. Second, newborn screening may identify both severe classic galactosemia and the benign Duarte galactosemia variant. Third, act sheets are freely available on the ACMG website to review in the event of a screen positive result. In addition to classic galactosemia, act sheets are available for many other conditions that can be identified through newborn screening. 